of you may know that I am a very, very big fan of Elite Dangerous. I've been playing this game for years now, and it really is a game that feels like a new discovery is quite literally around every single corner. Now, when a very popular content creator called Down to Earth Astronomy came up with a treasure hunt, well, that piqued my interest, to be honest. I love things like this. I, I love ARG-type adventures where you could be thrust into just about anything. You don't know what the end prize is, and you don't know what's going to happen next, but all the clues are cryptic, and if the community comes together to solve these puzzles, it's a great, great achievement. And you have no idea what, what's at the end of the run. You have no idea what's waiting for you. It's brilliant. The last time I was really involved in something like this was back in Battlefield 4 with the Phantom program and the colossal community effort that came out for that and there were things flying around like I Ching and Fibonacci spirals and all sorts of calculation stuff. It was such a huge effort and hit messages and all sorts of stuff. It was so, so impressive and I really, really wish that games companies would do more of this, especially DICE. They did it so, so well, so do more of that, please. Anyway, this was so much fun, and I'm going to share it with you now, but spoiler alert and all that lot, I am going to go through the entire thing and what the solutions were and things of that nature, so if you are not interested in spoiling the adventure for yourself, I've got a link in the corner as well as down below, but if you're ready for this one, let's get into it. Some of you may recognize this as Morse code, and there's also an attached zip file. Your job is to find the passwords for this zip file, and there's multiple levels, so don't think that we're just going to open one and then it's done. This thing goes way, way deeper than that. Anyway, when the Morse code is translated, it says minus 81, minus 23, minus 1612. You have to remember space is three dimensional, so these are spatial coordinates. If we look at the map, and handily there are spatial coordinates in a grid, and uh, below the map we can see where this thing is leading us, and it is to a system called PicTok, and the planet 2. So let's head out there and see what we find. Alright, welcome to the PicTok system. Now we're looking for a listening post, so open up your navigation and it should be in your list of contacts there. Once we get to it, we need to scan it. To scan this bad boy, you need to just fly straight towards it while targeting it, and it will automatically give you a message. This is pointing to two other locations in two separate systems that you need to go and visit. This is to give you longitude and latitude on a planet. Once you've gotten all three locations, it's telling you there's a radius around them. If you look in the middle, you'll find the target system. Now rather than fly around all over the place, I've already got the messages for you. If you want to find the planet now, or the target system, go ahead and do that. If you want to cheat and go straight to the solution for the target system, then here it is. Now we're looking for planet 5 in this system, and if we follow the longitude and latitude we got from the messages, it'll take you to a system settlement that you can't actually see. I've run planetary scans on it, and I can't see it from orbit, so you need to actually find this place when you're very, very close to the planet indeed. So once you are near the planet, you should see it pop up, and it's called Dav's Hope. Now you can land here, there's some pretty interesting materials that have been left behind, but this is an abandoned colony, and there's a couple of really interesting uh, text messages that have been left behind, so pick them up, and it's a pretty tragic story to be honest, but yeah, the password is Dav's Hope, and that will open up the next text file and the next zip file. 
This takes us to an unlisted YouTube video, which I'm going to play now. This is clever. This might sound like complete nonsense, but it's actually a spectrograph. This is a, a way of visualizing audio, if that makes sense. Now you can analyze this using Audacity, which is a free software you can get hold of. Or if you want a more detailed look, get something like Adobe Audition, which I've done here. So you can actually see what it's trying to tell you. There's quite a lot to break down from even this simple message, so let's get into it. First of all, Jitterbus. That is a system, and the number two, that's a planet. So Jitterbus 2 is where we need to go. The next set is XX00. Now, that is a time. And finally, a string of numbers. 5, 8, 56, 67. What does that mean? It turns out in orbit of Jitterbus 2, there's an unregistered comms beacon. Now, this thing is completely inert, but at 2 in the morning, it starts sending out a long cipher text. Now, if you've ever seen Lost or played Call of Duty Black Ops, this thing acts like a number station. Basically, what we need to do is find the 5th, 8th, 56th, and 67th character in the ciphertext. Thankfully, the children of Raxor have already documented this for us, so we don't need to stick around until 2 in the morning trying to figure this thing out. Using these characters, we get T E A C, all capitals, and that is your next password. Incidentally, if you use the code word own the sky in a Caesar cipher, on the original cipher text, you get a message from the Ed Fraternity. Now, the Ed Fraternity are a player faction who won a base in the Colonia systems on the other side of the galaxy, pretty much. And it says, The Ed Fraternity would like to wish all brave pilots making the journey to Colonia a safe and pleasant journey. Which is a nice little Easter egg in, in the game that Frontier managed to squeeze in. So it's, uh, I, I like that. I really do like that. Now, judging from the text file, the next step is pretty simple. You use the text there and run it through a Caesar cipher on a position 2, and that will give you another URL to another Down to Earth Astronomy video. And this one stumped me quite a bit. I mean, it looks straightforward enough, but can you see the message here? I'll throw up an enhanced version so you can see what I'm looking at, but that's really hard to figure out because the characters themselves are quite hard to see. But there's I's and L's in there that capitalized I's look like L's and all that sort of stuff. So this was a bit of a trial and error to be honest, but eventually here's the actual text. Remember. The eyes are capitalized. Just making that very, very clear, the eyes are capitalized here. That takes us to the next video. And this one's actually really funny. And I've had this situation myself where I'm just looking at a wanted target and thinking I should totally just blow him out of the sky right now, right? But he's several levels above me or he's much bigger than me and I'm flying a Viper. I'm gonna wait until the Anaconda's shields come down and then maybe put two shots in it and then run like hell that's kind of where i was i was feeling and that's exactly what happens here with poor carlos but your password is carlos capital c that's your next password and on to the next stage with file 3 finally open we can look at the final code's crack now this is actually ascii code so a-s-e-i-i -I. now this is a little bit misleading because it should be three characters long. So for things like 87 here, it should be 087. So if you correct all of that and put the zeros in the right place, put it into an ASCII converter, you'll get the final URL for the last video. And it's a congratulatory video from Down to Earth Astronomy himself. And that's the end of the challenge. I was kind of expecting Braxler to be honest, just maybe an inside line as to where it is, uh, maybe a very big clue to look 
in a specific area like the former Dying Rift, but not this time. Maybe next time. Who knows? So yeah, this challenge was fantastic and it really does show that the community coming together and solving these puzzles is something that a lot of creators should be doing and companies, games companies, they should be doing more of this. Like I say, DICE, if you're listening or ever see this video, do more, please. We need Phantom Program too. Come on. It's just so much fun. I love these challenges. So if I can see more and do more, awesome and uh yeah i'm gonna leave it there because uh, this this video has gone on long enough but thank you very much for watching guys if you liked it you know what to do subscribe if you're new around here and i'll catch you guys in the next video